You look so rested, and I've been seeing you all summer on uh, You Bet Your Life. Well, I've been sleeping while the show was on, uh, Wings. Uh... <laughs> you, you were, on, were you on all summer with You Bet Your Life? With, with reruns, but the regular new season starts September 24th. That's tomorrow a week. Now, this is all new Groucho, then, starting it's tomorrow. Well, the jokes will be the same, but the new season... <laughs> I should greet you as the writer of a bestseller here because there is a book called Groucho and Me. Where are you? Groucho me, and me? Me, I'm right here. Well, so is the book. I have read it. I heartily recommend it to you. Read what the critics say and go out and buy yourself a copy. Now, Groucho, Read the book first, though. <laughs> Before you pay for it. Before you read the critics. <laughs> well, Groucho, Another. what about your secret? Well, my secret is, uh, well, it isn't one that I could disclose immediately right here. I would like... Uh, these four youngsters over there to leave the stage. Oh, you want the panel to leave? Not permanently. I mean, just for a while. All right, panel, we'll call you back. Don't take your blindfolds. Now, I want to tell our audience that normally I uh, go over the contestant's secret with him, and usually I know what it is as well as he does. Uh, but this is as far as Groucho has told me, as far as the producers have told me, from now on in, I'm seeing the show for the first time just like you are. Mm -hmm. All right, what's your secret? Well, uh, first, uh, I'd like you to leave. Oh, come on. I, no, I'm I, don't, I don't trust you any more than I trust those four. <laughs> those you serious? You want me to leave? Yes. This Go is with very, them? This is a very shifty crowd, and I'd like you to leave. <laughs> and if you don't come back, that'll be all right, too. <laughs> now, I've got a secret that I've been nursing for 14 years. It started with a radio show that was on the air then called Take It or Leave It. You remember that show with Phil Baker? It was the $64 show. Well, he retired and, and then they auditioned many other people for the job and I thought I had the job wrapped up. Matter of fact, I went out and bought a new car that day on the strength of this. And suddenly one day they called me and told me that they uh, were not going to take me, but they got a young punk. And this wasn't 4th of July, this was... Uh, his name, oddly enough, at that time, was Gary Punk. <laughs> he later changed it to Gary Moore, which is even worse. <laughs> so, uh, incredible as it may sound, that's my secret. He took the job away from me and the bread and butter out of my mouth. <laughs> and also the cake. <laughs> uh, bring them in again. I'm fascinated by this book. I can hardly put it down. <laughs> you know, I'm going to read this someday. I come over here? Yeah, you can, you can sit right here. Thank you. <clears throat> nice and comfortable. Everything all right? Everything's fine. All right. Now, the audience knows what the secret is. Now, it's up to you five wizards <laughs> to figure this out. We'll start with uh, Miss Palmer, I believe. All right, Mr. Marks. I'm... Does um, there's something... Well, what is your secret? I mean, are you doing something or having something or... At the moment? No, I'm not doing anything. I'm but I mean, what about your secret? There's lots is of things I'd like to do, to do, but right now I'm not doing anything. <laughs> are you going to do it? Am I going to do it? Yes. I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> is it something that's been done to you already? To me? Mm-hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. I... I thought this was your show. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, until right now, I had the same impression. <laughs> and I want to ask you something. What became of the father of those nine kids? They don't show him. <laughs> I thought you probably have to wheel him in. <laughs> well, Miss Palmer, um, it's up it, to you. you I wish it was up to me. <laughs> Are you going to, uh, whatever you're going to do, is it going to involve the five of us, Gary and we four, at all? Um, I don't think so. Does it involve your new book? Does it involve what? It is something that happened. I was going to say, does it involve your book in any the, way? The book? Yes. You Groucho mean Groucho and Me? And me uh, yes. Published by Random House? Yes, yeah, for one. <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with the book. No. By the way, I wish to uh, correct you from previously what you said, that the people should read the book and then the critics because I did read the critics, and they were all excellent for your well, book. Thank you. It's very nice of you, but I'm still not going to tell you oh. what the secret is. <laughs> Mr. What? J.P.? Oh, uh, uh, is that you? It's Bill Kern. How do you figure that out? You're next to her. <laughs> at least you are at the moment. Huh? Well, just a minute. I'll clear it. Gary, is it all right? 
Yeah, well, anything well, he says. Why isn't he after her? I know I would be if I was there. <laughs> Groucho says go, go, Henry. Oh. Well, why doesn't he get, usually go? Isn't he because next, well, isn't normally he start, with, start with Bill and go on down, and from Betsy we jump back up to Bill again. Why do you do that? <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Awfully good question, and we'll change it starting next week. Well, I mean, if it was the army, they would go one, two, three, four, wouldn't they? No, that's different. It's one, two, three, four. Oh, I see. This is like the Navy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Imagine having a Navy like that. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, Mr. Cullen? Uh, they seem to be very intent about getting you on. Yeah, all right. Uh, this thing that happened, why. Groucho, did it happen while we were I'd on I'd rather stage? talk to Mr. Morgan if I had the choice. <laughs> Since I have no choice, I have to subject myself to Mr. Cullen. <laughs> Did this happen while we I remember you. I drove you in from the airport once. Yes, right? yes. And I paid that. You didn't offer to pay any part of that. <laughs> I was hoping... I'm a pretty cheap guy, and I've never forgotten it either. I just... You know, he's not kidding. It's true. Of course it's true. I have a memory I like the, an elephant. I bought the airplane tickets from California. You didn't mention that. No, no I flew without a plane. <laughs> did this, many thing, times. Well, did this on, thing did happen it. while we were off stage, Groucho? What's that? Did this... I didn't hear you. You'll have to talk louder. I, I, my glasses are brand new. <laughs> <laughs> I say, did this thing happen while we were off stage, sir? No. There's 40 down, 40 to go. You want to go to Monique? Uh, which one is Monique? <laughs> The, the second fellow down. Your glasses are new. <laughs> Miss, Miss Monique. Well, first of all, I want to tell you that I also read your book this week, and I couldn't let it down. It was the funniest thing I've ever read. And I wanted to ask you a question about is what you're going to do has anything to do with something you've done before? Is it something you've done before? No. That was a very pretty speech, but it, it's, it just doesn't make any sense, that's all. As I get it, is it's something that's happened, so we go to Henry. It You're happened. You're a real shrewd cookie, uh, Gary. <laughs> it, it has Mr. Happened. Morgan? Sir. You don't mind if I call you Mr. Morgan instead of Henry? I do, but you're our guest. Uh, uh, I uh, think a little dignity helps at this point. <laughs> Use anything you can grab. Uh, <laughs> you're in a much better position for that than I am. <laughs> You'll never hear this show again, I'll guarantee you. Excuse me, Groucho and Henry. I see somebody holding up one finger. Now, does this mean anything? Or... I don't know what we're doing. What does one finger mean on this show? <laughs> one minute. One minute. One minute. Are we well, come on, keep guessing. Are we going to find out what it is? You, you want me to tell you now? Yeah, because now we've got 30 seconds. Oh, well, uh, I was auditioning for a show called Take It or Leave It, and they took you instead. And I've been out of work for 13 years. <laughs> yes, you came out in terrible shape with a show that's only, only run 14 years. Really 13. 13 it hasn't years. been running 13. It's been crawling the last four. Huh? <laughs> Got you a million thanks to you, well, my thanks friend. Thanks to you, and sell a lot of those books. That I'll them. do. This is the Heritage Library. Good night. Good night. 